I'm not, I, I was not raised to be a housewife. That was a huge red flag for me because you know, if I for you, man, love is black. I have to be going for 40 days and 40 nights fasting on the mountain. I had it in my head like ding, ding, ding. Nope. I'm not trying to use my head to carry away dinner. What's up guys, be me here, I'm a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to be sharing with you the second part in the series I started I think two weeks ago, where I was talking about the things that you should discuss with your spouse, with your significant other, with the person you plan to spend the rest of your life with before you get married. If you haven't seen the first part, I will leave a card up here so you can check it out. The first part was talking about the kids edition, so you should check that out and then come and watch this video if you haven't seen it. So this part, I'm going to be talking about the relationship aspect of the marriage. So if you want to know what I will be talking about in this video, let's just jump right into the video. <laughs> to say like I said in the first part of this video that you can plan and plan and plan and then life happens so you can ask questions and discuss these things and all that stuff but also leave room for what if life happens what if this happens what if that happens what if the plans that we have don't actually even you know come through you also need, need to leave room for that. I think that's very important and a very important disclaimer for me to put out there before I start this video. Also guys, I need to say that some of these things that you discuss, I'm not saying that you just you just meet your spouse, you just start saying, okay, uh, what do you think about this thing? What do you think about that thing? What do you, mm, 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 mm. Like, you could be having a regular conversation, you could even be chatting, even though I would prefer you see each other up front, you know. And then, you know, you could even be eating and you could just, you know, slip it in somehow. Me, in my case, if you want to know what I used to do, I used to tell stories. Till today, I still tell stories. Story shit. So, I just tell stories and I'm like, oh, this and this and this and that happened. What do you think about this situation? And then from there, I can get to understand where the person is coming from, what they think about this and this and this, and then we can even just start the conversation also. So for the relationship aspect of the questions and the things that you need to discuss, I'm going to be dividing it into two different parts, your past and your future. So let's start with your past. When I'm talking about your past, I'm talking about like exes. Yes, the elephant in the room, exes. Please, please, please get every information you can get from your significant other to be about your exes, about their exes, and you also have to tell them about your exes. So I'm talking about questions like, oh, how many exes do you have? What led to the, you know, the breakup of the relationship? Who broke up with who? And stuff like that. Me, I'm saying this, so let me just come back to my Nigerian style. Me, I'm saying this because this is the way I think. <laughs> let me know if who broke up with who and what circumstances led to the breakup because I'm not trying to use my head to carry away dinner. I'm not trying to use my head <laughs> to carry a generational curse. You know, people might have had relationships and then something happened. If, some people even go as far as having blood covenant. Ha! You now break up with the person and now want to come and meet me? No bueno. <laughs> Please, go and out your issues. You get so. And you know, some people also break up with each other and maybe the girl like curses him. Maybe or it's like, wow, you never born children. You never this. Please, full disclosure. Please, God will help us. God will help us so that the spouses or the person that you, the partner you're trying to talk with to will be able to reveal these intricate details and information to you in Jesus' name. So that's why I say no about the exes. I'm not trying to ask her what their body count was or anything like that. No. Just to know like if it's going to if it's something that is going to affect you in the future so that you can know how to be going to mountain of fire or how to be going for 40 days and 40 night fasting on the mountain. Just in case you decide to still stay with the person because you know, if I for you, man, love is blind. Because <laughs> you know, love is blind, you know, and so that you just have all cards on the table, I strongly, strongly, strongly advise that you ask all those questions. Now, still on the issue of the past, you need to ask, does the person have any criminal activities? Like, has the person been in jail before? You know, has the person killed somebody? As a person, you know, these are things that I feel like the person may not want to reveal, but just pray that Holy Spirit just talks through the person and the person reveals it to you, you know. And then you to lay all cards on the table. There's something Toya used to tell me though when we were, you know, discussing all these things. He would say, oh, as long as it's not going to affect our lives in the future, he doesn't feel like he needs to know. Me, I still told him everything though. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, 
some people might feel like that and especially you if you know that that information is going to somehow affect your life in the future and don't think that everything is eating under the sun one day oh it's going to come out so all cards on the table full disclosure just do you have a past record criminal activity have you done this before have you done that before have you been married before that's a very important question that somebody would like to know okay so just make sure that you tell the person some people might be scared that ah what if they run away? Trust me, the person is for you. It doesn't matter what you say. There are so many things I told my husband that, in fact, I know so many other men would not want to stay, but he stayed. So, you know, <laughs> you know. So make sure that you, you know, discuss about your past, you know, with your significant other. It's very, 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 very important. Now, I'm going to the future so in the future that's where you have things like kids which i already made a video about if you still haven't seen it i'll leave a card up so you can go and check it out or check the link in the description down below so you have things like kids you have things like money i probably would do a third part strictly on finances strictly on money that's where you know the future lies so i would i would do a third part talking about money now another thing that you consider in the future is career ha career is very very important so please don't marry somebody that does not have ambition when i say person does not have ambition person does not he doesn't even know where a person is going in this life he has no plans no goals no nothing he's just a wherever the shaft blows me wherever the wind blows me i'll just i'll just take it like that please don't please don't <laughs> let me give you a, a perfect example um when i was with my ex so i have not done my masters and i was telling him that okay i plan to do my masters and i most likely would plan to go to the u.s to do my masters then that's what i was saying and you know most likely would like to stay back there and have kids and all that so what do you think about it and, Alaya was like, well, I'm fine with it, you know, it's for your life to progress, that like, it's fine with me doing a master's abroad, he does not really have a problem with it, and like, and uh, you know, we most likely have the kids there and we we'll live there, I say, oh, that's fantastic plan, fantastic idea, but he's not going to be there with us. I said, excuse me, sir, what do you mean you're not going to be there with us? <laughs> and he's like, oh, that he's worked so hard to get to the point where he's in his career right now in Nigeria and he doesn't see himself leaving anytime soon. I was like, wow, woo. <laughs> hey, you don't see yourself leaving anytime soon. So why are you okay with me being there with the kids? Say, yeah, that is fine that you guys can be there and he will be in Nigeria and he will come and visit us. I was like, excuse me? You come and be what? Nah. <laughs> nope. No bueno. So you will not be here in Nigeria doing all sorts. So if you do six, if you're saying six months, one year, you know, I understand that kind of thing. But totally, totally, totally living here permanently and we are living there. You just come up visiting once in a while. I'm sorry. I do not believe in that at all and at all and at all. So that was a huge red flag for me. I was just like, no. I had it in my head like ding, ding, ding. Nope, nope, nope. So definitely, definitely discuss things like your career your work with your with your partner like so what plans does a person have regards their career do they still want to go back to school you know all that stuff so still on the career matter some people always have conversations around of which we didn't even dwell on that conversation so much on like so when you guys have kids some men will say or some women will say oh they don't want to have a maid they don't want to have a help so they want to be the ones taking care of their children solely they don't want anybody to help them in any way so they're like okay i want to quit my job and the husband is like ah, i don't want you to quit or i don't want the woman that does not work i want you to work so these are things that you also have to discuss still on the career matter some men too might say oh you know when i have kids when we have kids i don't want you as my wife to work i want you to sit down at home and the lady is like i know how much my parents spent on my head to go to school you cannot tell me that you stay at home i'm not, i i was not raised to be a housewife do you understand that kind of thing so people need to have this conversation as regards their career you might think it's not that important trust me it is a very important something to discuss okay so another thing to discuss when it comes to your future is like where do you guys plan to live so where do where do you do you want to live on the island if you're in nigeria do you want to live on the island do you want to live on the mainland if you're in lagos and you know it's funny that you might think these little little details don't matter but trust me they do i know a couple <laughs> <laughs> I actually do know a couple that when they were about to get married, argument arose because other was like he wants to live on the mainland because one, um, his office was closer to 
I think where where he was trying to look for an apartment and then auntie was like no she wants to live on the island because she just feels like she likes the life of the island you know that kind of thing you know and uncle was like see house rent is cheaper in the area where they wanted to get a place and auntie was like well she can always add money if it's the money that is the matter but that she has always wanted to live on the island so argument erupted so you might think that it's very little things but it's not a little thing even down to what kind of house do you guys want to live in are you fine with starting with a two bedroom flat or a three bedroom flat or a duplex or a duplex you know <laughs> so those are things that you also have to discuss very very important details that you should discuss okay still talking about the future you're talking about like your future plans like i said earlier so um, where do you guys plan to live? Where do you guys plan to stay? Do you guys plan to travel in the nearest future? Do you not do you want to stay back in Nigeria? Do you want your I talked about the kids aspect Do you guys want your kids to live abroad and you want to live with them abroad? Those are things that you should also discuss even down to vacations I know Tony and I had discussed vacations, but we were not we're not so keen on it. Like, we're not, yeah, we we'll, we'll vacation, but you know, imagine I was somebody that maybe before I got married, I was always gallivanting around, flying from one place to another. In fact, I'm a travel influencer, and then now I'm married to this man that is like, I don't want to go anywhere. Even though maybe when we we're dating, he was traveling with me, but now he's like, I, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay in one place, you know. Then there's a problem, there's a gap somewhere. So, even down to like vacations, like, oh, do you guys want to take vacations once in a year, twice in a year? once in two years those are things that you should discuss and then when you start having kids do your vacation spots start changing do you not now go to Maldives and you now go to like Disneyland you know <laughs> you, <laughs> you know those are things that you should also discuss when you're talking about your future and planning your future another thing to discuss is like your visitors like your living situation for your visitors so are you the kind of person that you like your in-laws and everybody in the world come and be living with you guys or you don't you just want it to be you and your husband and your children that's something that you should also discuss because some people like the idea of you know family coming to live with them two four seven and you know they like a huge full house they like the house to be full and you know the other partner is just like no i just want us to like just my nuclear family so that's also something that you should discuss because you don't want that somebody will now come you you now say please where is this person going and your spouse is like no they are here to stay hmm hmm <laughs> so the last but not the least thing that you'll be talking about when you're talking about your future is sex sex is such an important thing to talk about yes you are dating yes you're not having sex but it is important to talk about when you are you know discussing things about your future i think i mentioned it before in one of my videos that you can talk about oh i like to be touched here or there and you know just little 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 information like that so that's you know, your partner just doesn't know that you just want stick that you just bring into the house or something like that. Like you, you have emotional feelings, you have you know sexual feelings and all that stuff. So you can just have a little conversation around it here and there, you know. And the conversation doesn't even stop when you get married. After you get married, you gotta be vocal about these things, yo. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk. Yeah, you don't, you don't keep quiet. You talk. You say no. This is what I want. I don't want this. Oh, this is what I want. So. Sex is something that is very, very important to talk about. You know, it's when you're talking before marriage that you will even be hearing people say, oh, I, ha I have a very busy lifestyle. You know, I don't think I'll be having time to have sex every night. You know, um, maybe we can have a schedule. And you, you're just supposed to be like a... Ha, what's that word called? Oh, I just remembered it, but I don't remember anymore. Spontaneous person, like you're just the kind of person that oh well, wherever I cash us, it cash us, we do it right there. And then somebody's telling you that um you need to schedule these things and have timetables. Ah, oh well, we're gonna have to uh, reevaluate and you know come to a compromise and an understanding. And then still under the issue of sex, you know, is you have to discuss things like oh um do we want to be having date night, you know, romance night, lovely night, even after you have kids, just to spice up your relationship. You know, one thing that I know Toya and I used to do a lot before we got married, we used to go out a lot. We used to go out a lot and a lot and a lot. And then even after we got married, we still continue going out a lot because we realized that that's one of the things that we liked so much to do and it kind of like helps us to spice our relationship and everything. 
the only reason why we haven't really done that this year is because covid <laughs> basically so by the time everything is over i'm sure even with shade that is grown now we're gonna be spicing our life and continuing to spice our life and the reason why we're on the same page about this is because we talked about it while we were dating like oh i like to go to restaurants like we in fact even on youtube yeah we used to do restaurant reviews because we loved going to restaurants and we love trying out new food so we used to do lots of restaurant reviews and then we got pregnant and things happened and all that great stuff so yeah that is pretty much what I'm talking about in when it comes to like the relationship aspect of um, things to discuss, your past, your future, and all that stuff. Like I said, I'll make a separate video on finances because it will just make this video too long if I start talking about that. So expect, expect, expect that. Thank you so guys so much for watching this video. I really hope this video is bright because I'm recording in the evening when I came back from work. But you know what? You guys will take it like that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other points you want to add to if all the things that I've talked about, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you also have questions, please ask me these questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with everybody that you know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.